Hello everybody, welcome to another great night of Dungeons and Dragons under Fractured Sky. I am the hostess and the dungeon master for this campaign. I am Lady D004, pronouns are she, her, hers. And if you happen to be catching this on YouTube, remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Um, just want to say that because it helps a lot. Uh, so with me tonight is uh, the regular cast of uh, Cretans. Um, well, <laughs> and perhaps I should have had you unmuted for that because that would have been funnier. <laughs> um, so let's, without further ado, uh, let's introduce them. Let's start things off with Miyoko. Hi, I am Miyoko. My pronouns are she, hers, and I play Eye of the Forest, Tabaxi Warlock, and one day. We're going to do this entire intro, intro in kazoos and harmonicas. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Cheryl. Cheryl, they, them pronouns. I play Wayra Evnas, the half orc bard. Dragon. Hello, I am Dragon Master Outcast. He, him. I play Usna Solsite, and I will break every harmonica and kazoo on the planet to stop that from happening. No, no he won't because You'll he's try. stuck in New Zealand. <laughs> oh. Hold on, let me go get Gandalf for call. Kiwis, Kiwis can't fly. Oh. <laughs> the gauntlet has been thrown down. <laughs> Look, I'm sympathetic to to his cause. That doesn't mean I have to be nice to him. <laughs> All right, let's move along. Zul. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> um, Zul. He him pronouns, and I play Avne de Bovo and Cockatiel Kanka Paladin. I will play the kazoo as long as I fucking live, dragon. <laughs> I love you so much, Zul. <laughs> Well, trust Thank me, when you. you when you texted me that, I had it in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <you>. moving on. <laughs> Salix. Um, Salix, uh, he, him, and I play Fringle Numbers, the gnome cleric. And Dan? Hi, I'm Dan, pronounce he, him. And I play the very injured Komodo Dragon Lizard Folk Ranger, Jack. If you want to find out why he's injured, check out episode 35, Endangered Reptile. Um, <laughs> and last, but definitely not least, Mega. Hello, my name is Mega, he, him, his, and I play the character Nova Ombrele, the sweetest Fire Genasi wizard. So now that we're uh, all through of our, also that was really cute, but um, now that we're all through our introductions, let's uh, move into the game. So when last we left the group of Forrest the Tabaxi Warlock, Wayra the Half-Orc Bard, Usnar the Null Barbarian, Avne the Kenku Paladin, Shaq the Lizard Folk Ranger, and Nova the Fire Genasi Wizard, they had just defeated several of the fearsome monsters known as the Children of Abzazel and a terrifying new champion of Abzazel. As part of a plan that was formulated with Balathor Bolton Blount, leader of the Montrose organization, which covertly opposes the cult of Absazel, the party was then supposed to venture to Amworth while Blount coordinated teams to defend the remaining coastal cities from similar threats. Thereafter, they were all supposed to rendezvous at the Montrose organization safe house in Knack. However, before any of that could take place, the party found that at the end of the battle their companion Fringle the Gnome Cleric was nowhere to be seen. We join the party as they make this realization. So yeah, you guys are all in the sewers of, um, damn, I can't remember the name of the city now. Fent? No, it's not Fent. Um, Fent's, shit. Um, Fentanyl. Bring up the, uh, no, it's not Fentanyl, you, <laughs> Pikewood. Pikewood, it's so... called Pikewood. Okay, yeah. Okay. Fentanyl, you. Friggin' miscreant. Um. <clears throat> uh, hello, Fringle. Fringle? Did anyone see where he went? No. No. He was here with us during the fight. Despite it's, my uh... injured state, can I try to see if I can 
find any gnome tracks? Uh, sure. Go ahead and roll a survival. Can I assist? Uh, okay, yeah. One person can assist, so roll with advantage. But I think you already had advantage on it anyway, don't you? Or no? Uh, no, that's for tracking greater. Uh, the right, 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 right. And gnomes aren't that. Yeah. God, I hope not. Uh, uh, that's an 18. <laughs> You are able to see uh, some wet footprints that are rather gnome-sized uh, leading away from the battle, going back towards the entrance of the sewers. Uh, you went the, the way it seems. And just kind of points at the tracks and back from where they came. He was on his own power? Looks like it. Well, at least he made the decision himself. He could have been kidnapped. That's what I was worried about. Let us go. We should track it anyway. Yes. Oh, yeah, we need to find him. It may still not be safe here. Yeah. Also, Blue we have no are, idea when Blue the guard is going to come back. Hold on. Blue stars, okay. Blue stars already halfway down the tunnel. Okay. Mega, what did you say now? Uh, like, Nova was saying, like, Plus, I don't know when the guard is going to suspect things and come back. Uh, we have another hour, I think. Mm -hmm. Actually, no. It was a one-hour spell. How long has it been since uh, we got into the sewers? It's It's been a little over an hour. Oh, okay. Any minute now. <laughs> okay, so... Um... Uznar's already halfway down the tunnel, according to him. Um, everybody else following? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They're just mumbling to themselves, but yeah. I've grabbed my spear and using it like a walking stick, kind of <laughs> leaning on it. Jacques, do, do you need any help? I'll be all right. You I'm get... Fine. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. That's oh, all right. You're right. You're fine. Damn right, I'm fine. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you guys uh, travel down the... Travel down this tunnel... Um, Heading back towards where you, where you entered, and you see at the end of this tunnel a light and a very visible silhouette of a gnome with a sprung, sprungy piece of hair, um, on the front, looking out of the, uh, looking out of the sewer grate. Oh, Fringo, is that you? There is no response. Uh, Forest Ringo? will go closer. Forest Ringo? Still nothing. Uh, am I within 30 feet of him? Yes. Uh, I'm going to use telepathy to, uh, to uh, speak to him in his mind, or speak to the silhouette in its mind. And uh, just say, Fringel, is that you? You get the sense that something is clouding his his mind, but he definitely heard you. Uh... Is he's within 30 feet? Yes. Uh, Usta Force. would be at... This will be at the front of the pack, so I'll turn back and I'll set. I'll turn back to the rest of the group, group and go. Chats, you still, you still able to shoot? Still able to shoot straight? I can shoot just fine. No, okay. wait. Let's let us be sure. We're, we're not it's... shooting Fringle. <clears throat> no, just your no, forest is already like no, just pretty far ahead. So no, just to cover. No, this is just to cover. This is just to cover, cover me, cover both of us. If if what I'm expecting is going to happen, it's going to happen. And Usnad just walks straight up to Fringle. Okay, well, Forrest is ahead of you. Uh, Forrest, what what were you up to? Uh, that was going to be the next thing that that Forrest was going to do was going to go up to Fringle. Uh, at least within within ten feet. Okay, so you you just approach. You don't do anything else. Uh, she's like. 
she's being careful and staying on her guard. Um, I'm not going to say that she's being stealthy, uh, but if anything untoward happens, she is going to ready Thorn Whip just in case. So, like, if if she come on comes under attack, she's going to Thorn Whip whatever it is. Okay. Nothing happens. Can I see him any clearer from uh, two ten feet away? He's just staring out the out the grate at the end of this tube. Can I? Can I make an insight check or or absolutely? Uh, my perception is a lot higher. Can I? Uh, can I just look at him to see if anything looks off about his like physical body? Um, sure. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I can. I mean, I can approach and let's see what he's looking at. <laughs> God damn it! My insight's a lot higher. Or my perception's a lot higher. Mm. My perception is a lot higher. It's four points. Wow. My insight is a one. I know, <laughs> but it's really hilarious. Really when you roll a two. <laughs> yeah. You're you're not. You don't really get any like. Nothing seems to be amiss necessarily. All right, so uh, I'll let that be as much as you're able to do. Oznar, what were you up to? I get. I get up and stand right next to him. Pop a pop a squat. Pop a squat down. Just put my hand on Fringle's shoulder. Okay. Fuck yeah! That. What? Yeah. That. Oh, oh, snap. Okay. Okay, buddy. <laughs> no. Fuck. <laughs> I I need to sit down for a minute. Fr Fringles just sits down, just holding his head for a, a second. I, I do want to let you know that you are sitting at the end of a culvert where there's poop water kind of going. Fringle doesn't really care at this point. Okay, okay, just want to be sure. I saw that there was something clouding your mind, Fringle. What happened? I am I'm not sure. The last thing I remember was during the fight I I was looking at the giant one and next thing I know I'm here and I just remember feeling the same thing over again. Like when you showed us your your vision. Fringle is visibly shaking. Based on that description, could Nova try for an Arcana to see if he could figure out what the fuck happened? Go ahead, with an advantage. Yucky dokey. Artichokey. I should have remembered to roll advantage. <laughs> well, either way, you passed, so... Okay. <clears throat> well, and that 20 is always possible. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not going to be like, oh, he super knows it. Um, super, I am Supernova. Ha. Ha. Supernova, super knows it. Ha. ha. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. So, Nova, this sounds a lot like what you were experiencing after you looked the, uh, looked the champion of Apsazel in the eye and like, felt compelled to move. Oh, that must have been something similar to what happened to me. Only, only I just moved in a weird way. And that's why you approached me? Well, yeah, I, I didn't choose to do that. It just, my body did something without me. Would I know it's the confusion spell? Uh, you would not necessarily know that. Okay. It's like, Perhaps. I don't know exactly how they did it, but, well. Perhaps since that one seemed to be more complete than the ones that we fought. Perhaps it is more in control of its power. Can I try mm -hmm. looking through the grate to see what he was looking at? It's just the ocean. Either way, 
we, at the very least, we have dealt a blow to the enemy here. I do, we do not know if that is all of them, but it is a large portion, no doubt. And we cannot stay here. But we are glad that you are safe, though. Absolutely. No, are you going to be alright, Fringo? Hi. I think I'll be fine. Would you like a candy? Yes. Uh, uh, Usna's already gone into his bag of candy. And candy pulled right <laughs> out and just shoved, just shoved into Fringle's mouth. <laughs> I do not think frost feeding would work. No Why do you think keep should... doing things like that, Usna? Uh, <laughs> come on. Usna's already turned around and got his back shown to you. Got, my, got his back shown to you. Come on, I'll give it. Come on, I'll carry you out. I'll give you a ride out of here. Uh, oh, okay. At that moment, <laughs> the door nearby that is where you entered opens. It's a big, heavy metal iron door. Then I don't know if my shitty vocal effect. Anyway, um, and through it peeks a dwarf. Oh. Oh, there you are. Hey, uh... So... Hello? So you guys are down here uh, dealing with something bad, eh? Indeed. Ah, oh, well, uh... Hey, I know you, you put that uh, put that spell on me, made me think that I, I knew you from a party. <laughs> I gotta say... First sighs and nods. I gotta say, I didn't really like that. I apologize. It's... It could not wait. Well, what'd you what'd you end up finding down here? Just uh, points at I just put Usa just points at Shaq's. Yeah, Shaq is kind of like walking forward, although using the spear like a walking stick, but still trying to stand proudly. Oh, geez, you uh, yeah, you got pretty uh, pretty messed up there. It looks like. Indeed. But we did take care of it, though. So, Avenue's pretty battered as well. Yeah, we're all pretty fucked up, I think. Except Nova. <laughs> Nova is in perfect health. Nova's basically sparkling. <laughs> Pringle doesn't really have a lot wrong with him. Yeah. So... Oh. Forrest took some hits from that champion. That's what happens when you ride it like a bull. Oh, yeah. You get the yeah, horns. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, why, why, don't you, uh, why don't you all step outside here? Oh, no. Very well. The, uh... <clears throat> just the culvert that Fringle was sitting in front of, is it big enough for, for a person to go through? Is big it... enough for, like, some people to go through. Okay. I'm, I'm not going through it. I was just curious. Okay. The forest goes forward. Maybe be the last one to leave really quick. I, pay, I piggyback Fringle out of here. As you exit the uh, exit the culvert, uh, you see a retinue of guards waiting with uh, halberds drawn. Mm -hmm. And oh, no. Forrest comes out with her hands up. <laughs> so, um, gee, I hate to do this because you guys seem like uh, nice people, but uh, yeah, uh, mind controlling a guard—that's uh, that's a big no-no. Understandable. Jack is gonna shoot a glare at Forrest. Considering and... that, Same. considering that I was the one who did that, and they were not at party to the decision or to my actions, could you? Could it be possible to let them go? Well, you're all also under arrest for trespassing into uh, municipal property here. Then would it be possible to pay their bail? How much were you thinking? <laughs> she pulls out 20 platinum. Yeah, that'll cover it. <laughs> she hands it over. <laughs> <laughs> All about sales bribe to cards. Come on, boys. We're going to the bar afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, there's, meanwhile, there's Usa just shuffling, just sideways, about to start, start getting ready to cheese it. <laughs> I assume Pringle is still on his back. <laughs> uh, they, 
<laughs> they start walking away and Forrest is just left there like, wait, but I was paying for them, not for <laughs> She like says that very quietly. Wait, wait, I'm I'm confused. They called it bail, but that seemed more like bribe. I that that no. was definitely a bribe. Yeah, that was, was a bribe. I'm, that was I'm, not I'm, my intention, actually, but uh, <laughs> that works. Jacques is. I can think I... you might be developing a criminal. <laughs> I was legitimately <laughs> trying. I was legitimately trying to pay your bail. I was not trying to bribe them. Oh, no. <laughs> Could I uh, kind of quickly go up to the dwarf and uh, I'm just going to get kind of close. Not close enough to get any of the poofy water on him. Jack is going to take out that golden token that he's been holding on to. And he just says to the the guard in dwarvish, just be ready. We look at some of them down there, but within uh, two or three days, there might be an, an attack. Any we might have missed. You ready for any ghoul like creatures that come out from the sewers? And he's gonna just kind of whisper to him strength for the future, thrust deep from my history. Let me check something. While this is happening, Nova is starting to like, like clean off the party. Just do it just to like start doing like a deep clean. Okay. Um the dwarf replies back. May we all grow stronger then. Alright, Jack's just gonna nod and put the token away. The party now smells like lavender. Oh god. Jack uh god, thank you so much. Jack, you get a point oh. of inspiration. Yay. Hey, well, yeah, Ustar walked up Ustar walked up to Ethne and say, Ethne, congratulations. You just saw how the wheels of justice get greased. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why would you say but, that to me? <laughs> but, but, but that was not what I was trying to do. Wait, I but, I don't know that expression. As as an accountant I can Tell you he's not wrong. Unfortunately. Why must you tell me this? <laughs> Why did you tell the paladin? <laughs> we need to go as the next Every we belief need... I have is being shattered. <laughs> For a second I thought you were gonna say shat upon. I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we need... Wait, we people need use money us. for wait, people use money for evil things? Yes. All the time. Oh, the books didn't tell me anything about these. <laughs> well, they're evil, so they wouldn't put them in books. They would hide them. Mm-hmm. Just having a mini, mini panic attack. No big deal. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. look on the bright. I mean, look on the bright side. When we track down Brax, Brax, and they kick his ass, they kick his ass. We get to rob. We get to rob him of all his loot. No. <laughs> wait, didn't they, wait, didn't Oxton say specifically not to do that? I mean, come on. I we're mean... seriously not going to let him fight fight Braxton alone, are we? Jack is walking away, heading to wherever they need to go next. No, yeah, of course not. But that does not mean we have to b b rob Hello, friends. Let, we let's. Need, we need to go. So there's another town under sweat, and we need to rest. Also, Zach is walking away. I don't think we should let him go by himself. Agreed. Right. And Afne, it's not Rob. It's it's reclaiming it's reclaiming pr property that was used for evil purposes. You and literally give... said Rob. We can give it to charities and to the clergies and yes, everywhere and... to do good stuff. Yes, and we keep about ten percent for ourselves. <laughs> Patience, where are they getting patience? <laughs> Who's that? I don't know what a charity it is going to do with a sword. I mean, raffle it off? <laughs> Why are you all like this? Conversation <laughs> <laughs> uh, just keeps going on and on, and Shaq just disappears. You really are the bird knight. 
<laughs> I have to live <laughs> up to my name. Also, one more thing before we had to leave. Yep. I just wanted to like, Avni's gonna blink and their eyes are gonna go black with golden Morelle symbols. I'm gonna use divine sense. Really. Okay. The presence of a strong evil registers on your senses like a noxious odor. Powerful good rings like heavenly music in your ears. As an action, you can open your awareness to detect such forces. Until the end of your next turn, you know the location of any celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet of you that is not behind total cover. You know the type, but not the identity. Uh, within the same radius, you can also detect the presence of any place or object that has been consecrated or desecrated, as with the Hallow spell. You can use this feature a number of times, equal to one, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so you don't find anything evil, but you are fairly close to one of the temples, and you do sense that. Sense what, sorry? You sense, you sense there's a temple nearby, but you also know there's a temple nearby just because you saw it. <laughs> you, you don't find anything amiss, is basically what I'm trying to say. Okay, just making sure. So now what do? I suppose we follow Jacques before we lose him. Yeah. <laughs> and just uh, having a little panic attack because I almost got arrested again. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Alright, so you're on the road to Amworth then? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? I'd say that we need to stop. We need to stop at some point and make camp and actually have a long, a long rest. Yeah, long rest so we yeah, get please. so we get our resources back. Yeah, how long? Uh, how long is the travel to the next town? It's like an hour. Mm. Yeah, we got we got time. Okay, so you want to stop like some way part way there and rest? Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, like, what time is it? Yeah. Uh, it is about 5 p.m. Oh, yeah. We'll oh, okay, yeah, well, maybe stop. We could actually even stop in at the next town and, like, maybe there's, like, a room there. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, so you're just going uh, straight to Amworth, then? Yes. Straight to Amworth, find a tavern. Okay. There is definitely no shortage of taverns in Amworth. Uh, it seems to be a rather bustling nightlife of sorts. Um, the challenge is going to find some place that's quiet enough to sleep. Um, <laughs> but you do manage to find a sleepy little inn called the Toad in the Hole. Um, and they uh, they put you up for the night for uh, for gold from each person. For yeah, one gold? One okay. gold. Done. Uh, yeah, one gold. Uh, I do eight. not. I am flat broke. <laughs> Forest got it. Yep, Forest got it. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. At like over 700 gold, you know, I have enough. <laughs> I I feel like I may have not written down gold that I got, and now I don't remember when. There was we had like 60 platinum from uh from. Did I wow. never... Oh, I never wrote that down. Okay, no, I'm good. Okay. So All right, now I'll I'm take... at 59 platinum and, okay. you know, 9 gold. Yeah. Also, uh, also before he goes to sleep that night, uh, Nova is going to spend an hour uh, resummoning uh, Otaro. Okay. <laughs> Forrest, uh, Forrest is going to spend... Uh, is basically going to cast Alarm <laughs> as a ritual on, uh, on her room. Okay. I, I do want to let you know that you guys aren't getting your own separate rooms. It's more like a okay, like a couple bunk houses. Then, then on then on our room or whatever room she is sharing with people. Alarm spell. Okie doke. And uh, she's gonna set it so that it gives a mental alarm, not a uh, audible alarm. Okay. All right. Any other uh, activities during this rest? I'm going to spend the time doing my, my meditation and calming the fuck down. 
Nova yeah. will kind of like Nova will like before he goes to bed, like kind of like absentmindedly nibble at the at the gummy bear's ear. Oh yeah, the giant gummy <laughs> oh, bear. God, <laughs> I forgot all about that. Hide it from Abde. Hide it from him. <laughs> Wait, uh, is Lord just going to stumble into the room, collapse on the bed? Jack would actually spend a little time in the like the tavern. Or the inn? Do they have, like, a bar? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he would sit at the bar, not having healed his wounds, uh, and then just kind of drinking a little, while also kind of listening for anything out of the ordinary, or something that would be, like, related to what they're doing there. It's just you and a couple old sailors in the bar, and everybody just kind of looking down into their own glasses. It's kind of like... If you've seen early episodes of the, of the Simpsons, most Tavern, it's oh okay, yeah, it's kind of just like this bummy kind of working class establishment where nothing of super huge import really goes on. All right, I know it's not what you're doing, but I'm kind of imagining Jack like drink a little, pours a little on his cuts, drinks a little, pours <laughs> a little on his cuts. <laughs> Yeah. After that, he'd go to his bunk in a separate room from Forrest. Okay. Anybody else doing anything special? Uh, qu question. Would there be like a late night open tailor shop? No. Okay. Okay, then, uh, Ustad would want to quickly go talk with Shaq. Okay. Chance. Yeah. So yeah, I just go find him over at his bunk, bunk bed, bunk bed, and then I go, "Hey, Sha hey, Shaq." Just leans up, just leans up against it, against it. So, the whole uh, growing spikes out of the ground thing that you've been doing a couple of times. What about it? Could we do one slight modification to that plan? Yeah, let's hear it. What great idea do you have? Just leave me about a just leave me about a five foot five just leave me about a five foot one five foot space for me to move move through so I can so I can maneuver and get behind the enemy. Uh the doesn't really how that works. I don't really control how wide it is, or if there's a path, if the place we're in is wide enough, where I can adjust just, where I put it, then sure. I'm but just saying, just have it slightly to the left. Just slightly to the left could be just enough space, enough space where I can skirt around, skirt around it, so I can get, so, like, like what happened last time, there's a big guy in the big guy in the back, big guy in the back, and we need to get to we need to get to him fast. I can get to him fast. Well, if the big guy is in the back while we're stealing dealing with the little ones, that helps us, because otherwise, all the little ones get to us without being in, as does the big one, and we're gonna get up fucked a lot more than. What happened in the last fight? Yeah, but we have, but that's what, but that's what we have. Avne, Avne's better at the front, better at the front line stuff, front line stuff. I can work, but I work. I move a lot fat. I move a lot fat, lot faster, lot faster than I. I move a lot faster, so it is kind of better for. So I can work. So my, so I'm thinking that I. So basically, I'm thinking that I work better as the, as the move into a point, move into the point, and actually start, start hitting them from behind. That, I'm just, you know, what, you know, what, never, never mind. I'm pretty sure we can refine, we can refine, refine the planet at some point. I, I'm not going to promise I won't put it up, because even if I've named, I'm not saying don't, I'm not saying don't. I'm not just saying don't put it up. I'm just saying don't have it direct. Just have a look just on 
if we're in a tunnel that it completely covers, it completely covers, just leave like one section, just com one pathway, one path. Okay, so mechanically, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is just leave like one five foot space where I can move up, move up and like, through. Like, like, going like target the wall. Yeah, and... but like, yeah. yeah, I know, but it's like Jack is, his thought is that's a stupid plan. And I cannot, like, he cannot promise that there's going to be enough room. But, like, mechanically, I get what you're saying, but Jack is just like, nah. Yeah, no. okay, yep, yeah, stop. Okay. Ugh. Oh, okay. Just, just throwing it out there. Shuts a bit of candy in Jack's mouth. And Jack is going to bite Uznar. Roll to hit. <clears throat> 17. It matches. Someone hits. <clears throat> Jack is going to bite Stop for dying. 5 damage. Mm. Ah, ow, ow, ow. You, you ow, ever do that ow. again, I'm going to rip your eye out and bite your ears off. It's like, can Nova hear this happening? Sure. Yeah, Nova's just gonna kind of like when he hear, especially when he hears the snap. Probably, it's like sees it and runs over. Like, okay, okay, okay. Maybe don't hurt each other. <laughs> just kind of like, just kind of like puts his body between the two. <laughs> yeah, as as you release it, you I saw the bit of candy, candy of your saliva, your saliva in my blood in my hand. I just pop in my mouth. I just pop that bit of candy in my mouth. Ew. Someone obviously doesn't have a. Someone obviously doesn't have a sweet tooth. And and it's not just hit. And it's not heads off. Heads off the bed. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah, I was gonna say. Yes, go um, ahead. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I would like to check on Fringle really quick. Okay, you find Fringle. Yeah, you just get. He's just gonna. Salx, are you there? Yeah, sorry. Okay. So, so knockity knock knock. Oh, yes. Um, come in. Mm, or... Yeah. Yeah. They'll open the door, and they have like a glass of water in their hand. Hello, Ringo. Okay, so let me let me pause it for a moment. Um, let me just, uh, say how you guys have assigned the rooms to, you know, like, be. Uh, basically, Uznar, Shaq, Nova, and Abne are in one bunk room. The other bunk room is, uh, Forrest, Weyra, and Pringle. So, Forrest and Weyra are also in there if they choose to be. Oh, damn, they would have stopped uh -huh. that fight then, sheesh. <laughs> Yeah, no, Forrest no and girls are in allowed. Other room. door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Forrest will be in there. She's already cast alarm and everything else. What? <laughs> yeah. <He's... laughs> the automated defense system goes off. He's fine. Clicks the remote control. <laughs> I, I just imagine Forrest is like saying, Ed, not mod. <laughs> oh, wait, Wayne was out pretty much the minute she hit the bed, so okay. <laughs> she didn't even hear a fight. All right. And... Hello, everyone. I hope I'm not bothering anything. No, mm, not to me. Um, um, not at the moment. Oh, good. Do you mind if I talk to you, Fringo? Um, sure. Uh, yeah. What about? Just quietly close the door, and he's gonna give. They're gonna give you the glass of water. Oh, uh, thank you. Of course. So, what happened today was a little surprising, <laughs> shocking, maybe. Um. 
quite bad. Well, first, firstly, you're staring into nothing. Oh. Supposedly. Do you want to talk honestly, about it? Honestly, I... I honestly can't tell you what happened other than I looked at the creature, then Usna was tapping my shoulder. Hmm. Nothing else? Fear. Hmm. Disgust. Rage. Rage? It was all mixed in together. It felt a lot like what it felt like when Forrest used the fear spell. Right. And a lot of my own fears and worries, but it was all so mixed together, I honestly can't tell you what. Let me see. Well, I'm glad it wasn't much more than that. You and me both. Well, <laughs> uh, is that all you want to talk about? While I'm here. Um. I'm honestly not sure. I could use some good company, so if you and Forrest want to just talk about whatever, that that would be nice. Of course. I would be happy to. Sure. Well, Forrest? <laughs> I don't know what you're looking at me for. What do you wish to talk about? We'd make good conversation. I, I, I <laughs> don't, I don't have anything to talk about. Well, uh, other than the unpleasant trees. Uh, yes, I figured it would not be good to uh, to be talking about all of that, but I, I don't know of anything else. I would be, I would be happy to hear, uh, to hear of uh, people's lives. Uh, tell me of uh, of your childhood, Avni. Mm. <laughs> Only Nervous if you wish to. At God. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you wish to. If you wish to. Car screeches in the background. <laughs> Record scratch. <laughs> just, a, just Abney just suddenly staring at the camera. Shakily lifts a cigarette up to mouth. <sighs> oh, some shit, man. <laughs> I mean, you're not Shush. wrong. Shush. <laughs> My childhood. I, well, I do not know anything of of the world. If so, is anything happy to talk of? Then I would be happy to hear it. Well, from what I remember, I was born in a curious, from what I'm told. My unfortunately, though, my mother maybe. My birth mother and father moved me to Artelli while I was young. I don't remember much more than that. And you see, like, their expression get dark a bit. I just remember running to Artelli further down Artelli. Quick question, D. What was the town name again? 
Oh, you would make me look that up at the moment. Um, <laughs> I mean, don't worry, I'm looking it up too. Shit. Uh... Please hold. A representative will be with you shortly. Your call is very important to us. I forgot. Uh, I had so many pleasant memories of that place I lived in. <laughs> I remember in, them so fondly. Insert town here. Just, okay, I just like looked it up and there's nothing. Anyway. I... <clears throat> I just remember running to a constabulary where I found my adoptive father's steward in Tibet. Wait, you... say that name again, please. Steward in Tibet. Okay, thank you. He took such good care of me. When I needed it. <clears throat> but unfortunately, after a few years of living in this constabulary, of singing songs and just living life to its fullest, my, um, I got, I, I know you're going to laugh when I say this, but my pop pop, Tibet, he, Worked in in the front lines of the the town's soldiers, the army, and Stuart worked at, at home and was a a bard. If you it's a back a little term. Unfortunately, Tibet was killed in the line of duty. I'm was sorry forced. to hear that. Thank you. You did not deserve it, but it happens when you're in the army. You put your own life at risk for the betterment of your country. So after that, fortunately, consequences ensued. He was the breadwinner of our household. And so we, so Stuart and I were forced to move constantly throughout the entire continent making money wherever we could go. We sang songs, danced. He cared for me every step of the way. Never lost the smile on his face. You need to see them smile. Eventually we landed in a town of High Warden. Which is I know, which is where I was before I met all of you. Fortunately, Stuart fell ill, and was that when we gave we went to a, a Morele temple, where they gave him treatment. He eventually got better, of course, but he never had the same strength as he did before. However. He still put up with all of my rambunctious energy. He became the organ player for my church, for the temple. Mm. He became rather good at it. Bo both of my parents were very talented musicians. Tibet was a flautist, and Stuart played piano and the lute. And now organ. <laughs> Do you play any uh, any instruments? Oh, uh, well, I I do play uh, a lute in my own free time. It was actually mm. my it was actually Stuart's. And this cloak, the the blue cloak that I wear, is also Stuart's. Ah. And I play a little bit of piano, even though I haven't played in <coughs> months. So I'm rather rusty. But he was he was a complete natural. I could not tell you how expressively he played. He just 
spoke to his very soul. That's what he was meant to do. I believe around when I was 19 years old, he passed away in his sleep. He just came too old. And from then forward, I trained and became the paladin I am now. I suppose, suppose as them um, raised a wonderful child. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it means a lot to me. I'm sure they'd be smiling upon you now. <laughs> <laughs> Judging from what we saw of the afterlife, I'm sure they are right now. I certainly hope so. And you're going to see them like pull at the collar of their armor a little bit and then reach down and pull out a blue feather. This is all I have left of Stewa. And the loot, of course, but physically, I know it's a little creepy, but Not it's, a good it's a good reminder that he's close to my heart in a figurative and literal way. Nova sneezes in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was trying not to sit here and be like, oh, hey, it looks like Kissling Tins. <laughs> it's dark, dark blue. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different blue. It's a different blue. Yes, it's a darker blue. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? Actually, you actually, actually, very sure. <laughs> actually, that was more. In, that was more in response to it, like you know, like him calling it creepy. Uh, <laughs> oh, fair enough. Fair enough. So, uh, so Nova yeah. may or may not have a feather in his spellbook. <laughs> so yeah, Avne, your sensei gave you blue. Shit. <laughs> and and they're gonna reach their in their um handy haversack that they have like at the very bottom, like arm deep in there. They're gonna pull out a silver pocket watch. This is all I have of Tibet. And keep it around, even though the sun usually tells me what time it is, but I like to keep looking at it every now and again. Just to know he's here and to tell me what time it is. And sometimes I have alarms on them to remind me that Tibet's waking me up in the morning. Mm -hmm. It's a little silly, but you know, it makes me. Oh, it makes me at ease. To know that they're always watching over me, and I always have them in my memories. And though that's another thing of my family. Of my birth family, I had three other siblings. I don't know what happened to them, though. Perhaps we will meet them one day. Perhaps, although I didn't really get along with all of my birth family very much. Hmm. Maybe that will have changed with time. One can hope. Boris just gives Abney a hug. <laughs> they'll just they'll hug back. Yeah. And just just slowly gonna pull Fringle in it too. <laughs> 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 just just large gauntlet in hand just like slowly just... grabs his shoulder and just pulls Fringle you're just being hugged now it's just the thing that's happening um, right well, well, as far as I'm concerned family are the people you choose not the people you're born to so you're very right this is true and who knows, you more could be my future family. 
I would not mind that at all. I honestly see you guys more as family than my actual ones. So. Nova sneezes again in the background. <laughs> Forrest just like kind of frowns a little bit at that, but uh, but just hugs hugs Fringle closer. Well, my present family is maybe gone from the physical world, but I see you all are a, a good close second. <laughs> hey. Um. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, did I? No, I think uh, that's yeah. Force is so just you know gonna. my life. Uh, yeah, Force is just gonna hug them a little bit, a little bit longer, and then just let go and go back to where she was sitting. Well, still, you know. still as twitchy as ever. <laughs> well, you all know about my life now. <laughs> Thank you for oh, sure. Of course, it's good to talk about it with someone. Well, anyway, it's getting late. We should all get to bed. We have a big day tomorrow. All right. Indeed. And with that, we are going to take a five-minute break. Yahoo! Okay. Okay. I'll be back. The audience may now eat their five-dollar footlong. <laughs> <laughs> Where they be buying the five-dollar footlongs? They don't I have those. My snackies. Oh, they, saved, five they saved it. <laughs> they saved it for all these years just for this moment. Ugh. You ate a foot long sandwich in five minutes. That's that's pretty impressive. I mean, it I've is. done it, <laughs> but I'm a fat ass, so that's. You see, the important thing you have to do is that. You need to inhale the food, not eat it. <laughs> relax. You gotta relax the jaw, relax the throat muscle, and you'll be fine. No, no, you gotta you gotta unhinge the jaw like a snake and just like <laughs> insert the sandwich into your mouth. <laughs> uh, it's okay the... if it doesn't fit straight away. <laughs> oh my god. The um Yeah, I saw. Okay. So uh, while we uh, are on this break, I would like to announce a thing to everybody watching. Uh, on the 26th, uh, that would be a Thursday at about 5.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern Daylight Savings Time, uh, I will be hosting over on my channel a D&D-esque one-shot for a system called the Great Orc Gods. It is a comedy system, and I will be joined by Salix, as well as uh, the uh, streamer Lucky Bun, and a few others that uh, I know of as friends or uh, that I have met through streaming. And uh, definitely uh, tune in uh, at that time. It is, it is going to be a hell of a fun time to... Uh, to give a a very very brief synopsis of the the game when whenever the usual fantasy races go to do something you know the elves dwarves humans all of those go to do something such as uh fighting an enemy they succeed on their martial prowess and their strength of will and their own personal physical strength when an orc goes to do something such as fighting, they do not succeed on any of that. They succeed based on whether or not the great god, the great orc god of war, hates them enough to make them fail at it. And uh, that is the system of the great orc gods, where players play as an orc and an orc god. And it, while it is not mandatory, it looks like most of the group is already planning on talking like Warhammer 40k orcs. So gonna be even better yeah definitely tune in for that look forward to seeing some people's there and yeah thank you very much for tuning in tonight
Okay, I have a legitimate question. Is there another way orcs talk? Oh, you can talk any which way you want. It's just, uh, as I said, it's not mandatory, but it looks like most of the group has decided, since like half the group came from a Warhammer 40k group that I'm in, ah. half of them have decided that that guy's gonna talk like this, you know? See, as far as I know, orcs in general talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> we's gonna shop him good we are we's see, gonna we call- corrupt him but good but you see we call that the cultural zeitgeist <laughs> <laughs> but yeah feel free to talk any other way as an orc I, I do not care how you envision orcs talking if they talk with a posh British accent or like Texans I don't awesome. care it's all good <laughs> I say, we're going to get in quite the rumble. Oh, imagine if I talk like that all the time. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I dare say, I do believe that an enemy is about to approach us. Shall we go and punch mm. them repeatedly with our fists, good sir? Quite. <laughs> Imagine if there was, like, one in the party that was just doing a Hank Hill impression. <laughs> just, like, a, a Hank Hill orc. Dang it, Bobby. <laughs> I know a really, a really fun thing that's going to be a part of this. Uh, because I originally overcounted the number of slots that I was supposed to have for this group, uh, I and the player will be sharing the Great Orc God of Death. So the Great Orc God of Death is not only hates the orcs, but um, <clears throat> has multiple personality disorder as well. Wow. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, with that, uh, the uh, the break is now concluded. Is everybody back? Yep. Yes. Hi. Um, Zul, you back? Hello. And oh, wait, no, hang, on. hang on, sorry. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. <coughs> oh, and uh, Panda Assassin, thank you for the follow as well. Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you, Panda Assassin. I, I'm also, glad... how dare you? What? <laughs> I think they're an assassin that is a panda, not an assassin of pandas, unless they're hired they to do better. it. better. <laughs> it's like monkey hitman <laughs> for a second I thought you were going to say monkey Hitler and I was like what no <laughs> <laughs> would that be better although now worse? that you mention it no <laughs> no <laughs> no monkey <laughs> anyway so moving on um, oh I forgot to put the BRB screen up but that's okay we're done with our break anyway Ugh, and I just inhaled a piece of bread with Nutella on it. <laughs> Talking about inhaling food. Was it was it a five dollar foot long? No, it was Nutella on it. just a just a little <laughs> little bit of home baked bread that Cheryl made overnight. Whoa! Just, re- just remember, was, kids, always have a, always have a bottle of water ready. I, I was stress speaking. Uh, Salix, what's going on there? Okay. Nothing. Oh, there was just like a, a loud scratching noise coming from your mic. Oh, I was rubbing my eyes. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Are you are you a rock golem? <laughs> anyway, anyway. Not that I know of. Okay, so uh let's uh get back into it now. So um it is now morning and it's Time to do what you need to do. Everybody, uh, everybody Yay, awake. Long rest. Everybody Nova. got their Woo. points Nova back. Woke... Yeah, everyone back to zero or back to full. <laughs> uh, the, the zero everyone, would be bad. <laughs> everyone back to unconscious and die. Go. <laughs> what backwards ass Thacko shit are you putting us through? <laughs> what the damn hell? It's like, surprise, Mega is the anti DM. Anti TM! Anti TM! <laughs> isn't that just a murder hobo? <laughs> oh, yeah. God. Isn't, yeah. Isn't that like. No, moving on. 
Anyway, Nova Nova would have woken up early and started doing uh, clapping push-ups to start the day. Ooh. Okay, coming a strong oh, sure. wizard. I think both Forrest and Wayra are very happy that that's not happening in their room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because Usna sees this. Oh no! Oh no! He comes over, and he's now doing one arm. He's now doing one arm push ups. <laughs> And every oh, third, pu every third push-up, he's he's interchanging arms. So oh, cool, you do this too. <laughs> of course, gonna get, gonna get, gonna get nice and limber for the morning. Yay, workout buddies! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just meditating in the or doing their stretches in the corner. Ch yoga. <laughs> <laughs> Peasants game. Anyway, so um, unless anybody else wants to do any other special morning rituals, um, get up, yawn, and stretch. Ah, oh, big stretch. Just f like like a cat stretching, just full back stretch. Yee. Yeah. Big stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Pringle would be putting on the traveler's clothes he brought. He bought. Okay. All right. So you all go through your morning rituals. Um, unless Shaq, did you have anything? Nah, he's just gonna start gathering his gear. Okay. Um, and what do you do now that you're all up and at him? I throw another. I. I. Look, I whistled the Avne. I present a bit of candy, and I go second time to charm. I have a bit of candy. I have a bit of candy in my hand. I'm looking at Avne, and I go second time to charm, and I toss a bit of candy at Avne. Wait, no, I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fifteen. We doing it. We doing it. Old decks. Oh, Lordy, we doing it. Did it load? There it is. You did it! Yay! Woo! Yay! We did it! <laughs> yeah. Nova is clapping. Woo! <sighs> and still doing push-ups. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like... Just like just this faster push-ups. Yeah, like, to... <laughs> Just doing double claps. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> now just. It's so good. Now what? So I guess they probably would have all tried to gather back up together. Yeah. Jack is gonna wait until everyone's back together and be like, "We need to have a little chat before we go into the sewers." Uh, also, we need breakfast. <laughs> chat. Our uh, group group meeting over breakfast. Yes. Okay. To me. I uh, proceed to head down. I proceed to head down downstairs to downstairs to find breakfast. All right. Um. Well, you guys, they are cooking eggs and toast, basically. Is there bacon? No bacon. Oh. This is a very low rent establishment. So sweet. A modest, a modest place. Nova makes sure to have plenty of eggs. Yep. Usna starts carb loading with just with just a whole plate of, <laughs> it's a whole whole three loaves worth of bread. They just eat with a knife and a fork. That's literally <laughs> not Bringle a savage. has like ten egg sandwiches. <laughs> and they have all their armor on and savor their helmet. That's on the desk. Okay, so Jack. So what did you want to talk about, Chuck? Jack, not, not having eaten any of his food yet, let's just look to the group and say, like, okay, I think there's something we need to go over because uh, something keeps happening and uh, we need to make sure we don't keep doing it. Uh... There are, from what I can tell, what I can remember, 
some spells that some of you are using on the things we have been fighting that don't do anything. So maybe how about we share uh, what kind of spells those are, what sort of kind of damage they are supposed to be doing, so we know that's not to use those kinds anymore. Above game, it's just like, yeah, uh, is it fire damage? Is it uh, poison damage? Right, yeah. Fringle gulps down like a half of the sandwich he was eating. Um, ah, uh, my, uh, the holy and light spells I used, uh, sacred flame tends to do a lot of damage fro to them. I have... Can... The, but that's... Uh... Go ahead. But that's about all I can do. My only other offensive spell is spiritual weapon. So... I think uh, the poisons that I can throw is ineffective. Uh, it seems as though uh, necrotic energy is not effective against them as well, which takes a fair bit of my repertoire away. Uh, I think my uh, attempt to use another spell that would make them attack their friends would not work. I do not know about the freezing cold. I know some psychic damage does work, as does the force of uh, of my usual attacks. Possibly uh, striking them with lightning would work as well. Well, I'm talking about the things we have done, not the things we have yet to try. Fair. Just, what have we done that hasn't done anything to them? That Can hasn't hurt them? Can I confirm? Lightning damage does not do anything. There's only neutral damage to them. Who the hell is it? Wait, you mean it does not hurt them, or it just does not do anything extra to them? It just does not doesn't do anything extra to them. But okay, it does you... hurt them. Okay, good. I mean, I have a lot of spells. It's more about what I need in the moment rather than what I use. Well, that is what we are figuring out, I think. All I know not. Really to... Go ahead. All we really need to know, nothing added, and any extra information. We just need to know what we have done that does not work. Let's, let's not try to muddle in any extra information that may confuse things. Okay, so let me uh, let me interject as the voice in the sky then. Yep. Um, through discussing um, everything that you guys have tried on these things, what you're able to find is that Radiant seems to be doing a lot of damage. Um, and what doesn't work, necrotic or acid damage. And everything else is kind of a mystery. I'd also note that my channel divinity of turn the unholy doesn't work. That that too. Hi, Popper. <clears throat> Sorry, that's that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> We've been hearing it all the whole time during that conversation. You just got really I'm crazy. sorry. <laughs> he is a good popper. Give him all he the scriptures. She yes. She good pupper. All, all the scratches. I got Nutella all over me. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a personal problem. It is a personal problem. I <laughs> apparently I I ate that Nutella with so much gusto I splattered it on myself. <laughs> Absolute slob. Anyway, so that's what you find out. Right. Jack is just gonna like eat up his food, 
And they're like, okay, that's that's good to know. Let's try to keep that in mind. And he's gonna look over at Forrest and say, like, um, by the way, next time you try to use a spell that uh, it's a certain area, try to make sure no one is with. Oh, you cut out. Oh, uh, he just said, said like next time, Forrest, you try to use a spell that hits a certain area, try not to hit anyone within reach of you. She just nods. He's gonna get up and start heading towards the door, and but, like, wait for everyone else. Yes, I'll try to make sure that my fire doesn't hurt anybody again. Usna gets up and starts hitting out the door doing the whole anime pro tag thing with the brick. With the bird toes per- hanging out the mouth, but instead it's a whole loaf of bread. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to know, Forrest. Mm-hmm. What happened yesterday? I hold no grudges against you. I just wish you more cat. All right. She like looks for a second. And then just quietly gets up and goes. They'll do the same. All right. So you guys uh, heading towards the sewers again, or? I like. Do we know where the sewers are, or do we want to go searching for that? Um. Most cities have like an outlet that goes out to the ocean and there's usually some kind of like entryway. That's something that, that you guys have kind of learned from doing this a few times. Um, uh, with my city secrets uh, background of urchin, would I be able to find it just a bit, bit faster? Uh, city, city secrets allows me to navigate city cities a lot faster. Uh, sure. Yeah. Um, roll a survival with advantage. Thirteen. Yeah, yeah, you're uh, able to find a just based on your own judgment a few different entry points. Uh, any of them secluded away and away from prying eyes. Um. Not really. Okay, I'll find. Okay, I'll take us to the most secl- the semi most secluded one that we that we all can sneak into without drawing the most amount of attention. All right, group stealth check, please. Okay. Yay! Ooh, Sorry I for plus- this. Ooh, I have a plus six in this. I have a twenty-five. God damn! I have, a, I have a nine. I'm I'm sorry for this, guys. Oh well, shit. Yeah, he didn't right. really do that bad. Wow. So for ever wanted better than me. <laughs> yeah. No, they will also <laughs> cast mage armor. Yeah, it turns out that this is the that this entire city is run by parrots, so you don't really stand out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yep, that passes. Uh, you guys are able to sneak into the sewers un, uh, unchecked. There we go. I hate doing this. So you find yourselves in the sewers. I'll, I'll take point. I guess I'll be right behind. All right, feel free to move your tokens. There. I'll be in. I'll be in the very back. Yeah, Jack is good where he is. Bad. <clears throat> Actually, yeah. Actually. Forest will be on the ceiling. 
<laughs> still in the back, but on the ceiling. All right, you're spider manning your way in this. Yeah. This brick sewer. <laughs> Wait, where did Forrest go? Shh. <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> Where'd it go? Where'd you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? <laughs> Hey, there it is. <coughs> oh, no. Excuse me. Oh, don't die. Forrest is, is on the ceiling. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. So after about an hour of like navigating your way through the sewers, uh, let's see here. Who has night vision or dark vision? Uh, I Yo. Me. Actually, might be a better question. Who doesn't? Who does not have night vision? Dark vision. Me, Dabs. I, I do not. Okay. Salix, do you have All right. do you have dark vision? I believe he does. So Nova would have been kind enough uh, to Pringle has dark vision. Yeah. Oh, okay. Night vision. Nova would have been kind enough to put up a produce flame. Okay. Well after you put up a produce flame, you see there's a writhing mass ahead. Of course there is. So let me just do this. Come on. Question is, uh, the question is, is it multiple of the writhing masks, or is it oh, uh, no, it's just it's one so, big writhing oh, mask? Oh, 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 god. Oh no. Roll initiative. Oh, is this a nightmare? Okay. Me don't like that. Okay, that's not good. Okay, thank God I have advantage on initiative checks. <clears throat> Shit, where'd all my note paper oh, go? Oh, shit. Woo! 22! Nice! Five! Mmm, uh, okay. Alright, so... Hang on. Man, don't you love getting little rolls? I love little rolls. Alright, so we have... At this point, we just learned to expect it from Avni. <laughs> Oh. Wow. I mean, tell me, tell me one wrong thing that I said. The sad thing is, I can't. <laughs> Your attitude. <laughs> Nova walks out ashamed of himself. <laughs> no. Serves uh, you see, right in. You might want to zoom. You might want to zoom out on camera so uh, ever so the stream can see. Yes. Yes, if they if they can't see the Eldritch Nightmare, then then what's the point? So that's the thing. All right, and I'm still getting the initiative down, so bear with me. Just talk amongst yourselves. So, so how about how that about, puddle? How about them balls? Uh, how about, how I think it's a good thing. Good thing that I, hopefully the hopefully this rivaling mass didn't roll a high event higher than me because of it because that means I can get in position position right off the bat and keep it pin keep most of it pin there. Hey, who who well, didn't roll initiative? Am I missing somebody? Mm -hmm. uh, I'll say like who are you missing? Dragon rolled twice. Dragon rolled twice. I rolled. As twice. did Jack. Uh, yeah, I'm on there. Me. Why am I missing I somebody? Forest then? Dragon, Salix, Wera, Avni, Mega, Jack. Nope, that's everybody. Jack oh, I. Plus. Okay, hold on. I I know where you I went didn't. Wrong. You didn't roll your own initiative, did you? No, I rolled my own. <laughs> I just forgot a thing. <laughs> oh. oh, boy! Oh. Oh. That, that's gonna be great. Forgot Tavarians and Berks and Castagons. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. One I haven't, wolf I haven't seen it for the seven months. Yes, thank you for that, Lisk. Let's just add Braxton to the list, you know, just to keep it going. And hey, you know what? Why not Arxton? Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Islington, why are you over there? 
<laughs> Sorry, love. <laughs> Nothing personal. Look, I, believe I take this get... very personally. I believe we can only get Bosco maybe once, twice a year. Oh, no. We, oh, no. we can get Bosco a few times. I'm just... I haven't used up all my summoning spells on him. Yeah, but you want to save that for the but you want to save that for the one shot specials. Yeah. He's he's got he's got a, at least a couple different appearances here though. Okay, I got everything now. I think one, okay. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Who am I missing? What the fuck? I, how do you, well, how do you know what names you have written down? I have the monsters. I have Uznar, Jack, Forrest, Weyra, Fringle, and Abne. Nova. I, I'm missing Nova. I forgot to put in Nova. Oof. <laughs> Sorry. Big oof. Nova was forgotten. <gasps> no, precious child. Okay, so uh, let me just check something for the monsters, and let me get some music going. While you're doing that, thank you, Lisk, for the subscription. Nine months. Shit. Yes, thank you. That's a uh, oh, that's yeah. a sub baby. Oh jeez. Congratulations. We have, we have been doing this for nine months. Yeah. Act yeah. actually longer. Yeah. A little bit longer. We're actually, we're actually we're actually coming up to our year anniversary. Yeah. Oh, it's yes, we are. Crazy shit, isn't it? Or like for like a month off. Well. All right. Oh shit. So let me check something for the monsters. Okay, good Incidentally, news. Incidentally, I will I not noticed. be paying the child support for your. <laughs> <laughs> I am in the contract as not being responsible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uznar, you're up first. Yep. Well, first bonus action rage and. And move straight up to the front of this thing and punch in face. Go ahead and punch. Well, punch Whatever counts as a face. A Magnus Black Blob. That's 23. That hits. So that's nice. So that is 11 damage for my first attack. And going in for the second attack. Okay. Natural one. Uh, please wait for free reroll. Oh I wait. Free re -roll? Wait a minute. You're don't you get like advantage? No, you're not doing reckless, are you? No, I'm not doing. No, I. I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to use the reckless attack when you immediately start off with rage. That's right. No, you yeah. can do that. You, you can yeah. do that. Yeah, you can. If you uh, if you want, I'll allow it. Nah, nah. I didn't declare it beforehand. Beforehand, so yeah, net one. Okay. Um. Yeah the, yeah. the only condition is that you have to do it on your like first attack. That's the only condition. So with the yeah. severity roll of seventy-eight, Me. you put your you put your hand into it, and I want you to roll a Constitution save. Woo! Proficient proficient in that. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a good place <laughs> to blow that nat twenty. Um, nice. Nothing happens. Yep. Yeah, just rip, just rip my arm out. But your well, turn is expect... over. Wow, didn't expect to go in elbow deep. Oh. Well. No, oh. I, I made an arm deep an unintentional joke, so I'll excuse that. I have, uh, I have been reminding Zul of that as well. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um, should somebody message me? No. Okay. Sorry, I thought somebody messaged me about something, but I gotta close out of Facebook. You're playing the game. Get out of Facebook, D. Um, okay, Jack, your turn. Uh, Jack is going to cast Hunter's Mark on the goo. Uh, and then he will also do Sharpshooter with his longbow. So minus five, but it's also with advantage. Okay. Okay. That is a... 12 to hit? 12 matches. So that hits. That hits. Okay. So that's... Is that not... Okay. It's... Okay, there we go. So that's 12 plus... Never mind that second one, because it didn't go right away. Mm -hmm. Um, So 12 plus 4. It's 22. 
plus oh, where's time's mark? Two that's twenty-eight plus slayer twenty-eight. That is thirty-five damage. God damn. Them, Second attack. Them DPSs though. Also, yeah. Also with sharpshooter minus five. Uh, t- twenty-one. That hits. Yeah. <laughs> let's see. Okay. Now it's rolling correctly. Okay. Let's see. That's six. That's eight. Twelve. Twenty-two. Plus. Oh no! Sorry. Sorry, I know that's 22 damage. Sorry about that. Oh, oh geez, Louise. Yeah. And he's gonna, as a free action, yell to the group, let's not get too close to it. Unfortunately, as he looks at Uznar. Too late! <laughs> Alright, that's turn, right? Yeah, that's the end of turn. Forest, you're on the ceiling. Oh, okay! Okay! Forest is going to move up to there, crawling along the ceiling. I think that gives me five more feet of movement still, because I have a 20-foot climb speed. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, and since she was not able to do this last time, she is going to cast Detect Thoughts on herself. On yourself? That's the, tar- that's the target of it, and then I focus my attention on a creature. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, so the spell does not work or rather sorry the creature is unaffected if it has an intelligence of three or lower basically animal intelligence or does not speak any language and i and i think to be to clarify that it is it does not count whether or not it has the ability to speak just that it understands a language okay uh, and she will focus on the big creature. Okay. You're, instantly your mind is filled with words like kill, destroy, perish. You know, just violent words. Just it's a whole lot of violence. It's all violence and it's all at once. Okay. Then, uh... She will move. She will <laughs> nod. Uh, hold on. Let me see. When you cast a spell or have an action. No. Uh, where is it? As an action, you can either shift your attention. Okay. All right. Uh, then, yeah, that's that. That is that is all for her turn. Okay. Wayra. All right. Let's see. How far do I have? Where's the measure tool? To there? Uh, all right. I'm up a bit, not as far as I was going to, because within my range, someone still get hit with a spell. So do that. Uh, so I move up here, and I'm going to start uh, shooting crossbows at it. Okie dokie. Well then. Well, shit. Well, there you go. Nice. We got... 14 damage. Unfortunately, that is a ranged attack, so I do not get my uh, extra for a savage attack. Mm Mm-hmm. Sadly. All right, and my second attack. Eleven does not hit. Okay. 
That's my turn. Okay. All right. And where'd my pen go? Pringle. Okay. I have a question. Uh huh. And I feel like it would have come up in this morning's conversation about these things' weaknesses. Mm hmm. Are they adverse to just general light? You don't know. Hmm. I don't think. Have we ever fought them in the daylight? No. Thanks. So. Yes. We did. In the forest, in that temple, or was that shaded? Uh, so that was the indoors. Forest in, the forest in the temple, we didn't actually fight one. We blew apart the uh, summoning right, right. before it could come out. Yeah, it was all this. But they and... were summoning it in daylight. It was like it was like twilight though. It was oh uh, okay inside of the temple and inside. So yeah, yeah. Although we fair. also fought a creature in the in the bandit camp during the day. Yeah, it, that too yeah. was twilight hours. But yeah. Okay. And then Fringle has an idea. Uh, one second, let me see if I can actually do this. Uh, I think I know the spell that you're thinking of. And if it, if it is the spell that you're thinking of, it will, it will just be handy to have up. Have up. You'll be able to definitely see what's happening more in the battlefield. Right. That's fair. Okay. Pringle is going to move here, and he's going to touch the wall, mm -hmm. and he's going to cast light as a cantrip okay. on the wall, so it, yeah, or would that even work? Well, I mean, if you touch, like, a brick in the wall, then you could, like, use it on that. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's light now. Is it affecting the creature any? Nope. Okay, then. Fringle's gonna summon his shield. And... Oops. Sorry. Fringle's gonna summon his shield, and that's the end of his turn. Okay. Nova. Yeah, so Nova kind of like uh, like leans over, like over the, over the back of Abne's shoulder toward Jacques. Hey, Jacques, do you want to hit this thing more? Jacques. Oh, sorry, must be did. He just looks at Nova like, yeah. <laughs> okay. And suddenly you feel super energized as Nova has cast a haste spell on you. <laughs> Have fun! And Nova ends his turn as such. Sure, don't cast a haste spell on the barbarian. <laughs> okay, so that, that was the end of Nova's turn? Yes. Okay, Avne. If it were any other enemy, it would be you. Oops, not... <laughs> Okay, I thought I had to sneeze for a second. But, let's see. I'll move a little closer, just a little bit. And I'll just have my cro do it with the crossbow. Yeah. Because I don't want to get close to it. No. Yeah. Shit, that's not going to hit. That does not hit. Uh, numero dos. Let's... That's better. That one hits. Yay. That's yeah, five damage. You know, it occurs to me that I didn't actually describe what you guys are seeing. I just kind of let your thoughts go away with it. Uh, you see just like this roiling giant puddle that's kind of like domed up in the center. Um, and there are these figures 
that are standing in the goo, like maybe like knee deep in the goo, like they're only partially formed. So it's a shoggoth. It's a shoggoth. There we go. If you know your, if you know your uh, Cthulhu mythos. Oh, Lovecraftian yeah, mythos. Yeah, yeah, I was going. I was trying to remember the word shoggoth. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Remind me to send you. Remind me to send you uh, Cobalt Press book sometime. Sometime. I got some interesting Cthulhu stuff in there. Yeah, <laughs> give me the Cthulhu stuff. <laughs> All right. I just have my shield out, and that's it. Okay. It is now the monster's turn. Okay. So let me check something really quick. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so Uznar, with you being right there in front of, like, the first shape, it goes for a swing. Does a 14 hit? Nope. Goes for another swing. And I know that a 13 is not going to hit just from deductive reasoning. And a spear launches out of its out of its stomach and narrowly misses you. Oof. And when I thought Megalovania was starting play, started playing it for my headphones, I thought I was done for. <laughs> Some of the forms that are in this puddle of goo start to move forward. And as they move forward, they start to take on actual shape. Oh, lordy, they Oh, good. yippee. Is it like having children? All right, so, Weyra. Yep. Uh, you, get, you get swung upon by the first one that approached you. I'm going to presume that an 11 does not hit you. Nope. The other one goes for a swing. Um, 13? Nope. Okay. So, let's see here. One, Yay two, for that mm -hmm. big-ass shield I got. One. No. Come on. Do the thing. Two. Uznar, this little one off to the... Off to the left, it's going to give a, give a swing at you. Okay. It's off 20. That hurts. And that is... <clears throat> Excuse me. Five bludgeoning damage. Redu reduce to... Reduce to two. Two due to rage, so... Yep, okay. Okay, and... And okay, that is turn for the monsters. Uznar, it is now your turn. Roll me a charisma save. Oh boy, fifteen. That makes it. <sighs> Okay, so turn on a normal turn unabated. Uh, okay. First on a first punch going towards the going towards the main mass itself. Reckless attack, by the way. Okay. That hits. Oh, excuse me. For ten bludgeoning. Okay. Yeah. Then second unarmed strike is going to the one that decided that took a swing at me and hit me. Okay. That hits. That's a 25. 
Yeah, for another 10 damage. And this is to the one uh, off to your left? Yep, yeah, off to my left. Yep. Yeah. And this one right here is in the ring, is in my is in my aura, so that so this one here next to Wayra is gonna get a lightning strike. Okay. Yep, yeah, for I need to make a dexterity saving throw. It is not very dexterous. Okay, it takes for okay, it takes free damage. Takes free lightning damage. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, and also free action. I'll I'll yell to Afne. Afne, we need Afne, we need your sword arm up here. I'm on it. Okay. And Jack. Although the shield arm is nice too. <laughs> Uh, Jack is gonna just move over here and get up arrows at this big one here. Okay. Still gonna use sharpshooter. Mm -hmm. Here, that is a. I'm gonna use inspiration. Go for it. That's what it's there for. Yep. <laughs> also, a sharpshooter. <laughs> 18. Yeah, that hits. Okay. So that plus... Let me just... Please, real quick. I'm, I'm gonna say you got it with the first one. It's down. Oh, it's down? Yep. It's... Okay. Uh... Would I be able to... Yeah, I'm gonna use a bonus action to put Hunter's Mark on this guy okay right here uh then second attack is gonna be on that one uh screw it let's also do sharpshooter minus five see how that does okay uh does a 12 hit uh 12 does not hit okay and then with my uh extra action make one attack not using sharpshooter on that one. Okay. That's that's another twelve. Does not do it. All right, uh, and that'll be the end of my turn. Okay. Forest. Okay. Big guy is down. That's good. Uh. It takes out a little bit of what I was going to do. Uh, no, I still have something good that I can do. Let's see. Do, do. And then 30 foot cone. Mm. Hmm. But if I drop to the ground, I can go to there. Oh, crap. Uh, I had to do something like that. Okay. Uh, forest. Forest is going to drop to the ground. Uh, Lands on her feet. Because <laughs> cats always land on their feet. <laughs> and then I am going to go up here and a 30 foot cone trying to catch these three and any if there's any others in there try to catch them as well mm -hmm. uh, I am casting fear okay so each of those creatures needs to make a wisdom saving throw. The DC is a 16. Nothing happens. God damn it. Fucking course it doesn't. We're learning. I mean, yeah, it... I, I told you that from earlier. Yeah, we had a whole conversation. No, no. We didn't hear about the fear spell not working on them. No, my, my divine... My channel divinity invokes fear on... On creatures, but it's not. But it's different from the fear spell. Marginally, yeah, but 
<clears throat> yeah. I mean, Either way, you I learned. Be... Yeah. Yeah, that's the important. She thing. used that because the the fear spell worked on the uh, the mini goos up in um, what's his face's realm. Hmm. Uh, I'm Tari. I'm Tari. I'm Tari. Thank you. I have just just to let you know that was a gaff on my part. Oh, uh, was it? Mm hmm. Okay. And I invented the fucking monsters. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Um, then, yeah, she curses and gets ready to defend herself. Okay. Also, hi, Forrest. Hi. Hello, mm. Osna. Eh, it's going to suck for you in a few minutes. Mm, problem. Yeah, probably. About as much as it did back in the... Back when I was riding the other creature. Okay. All right, Wayra. All right. So I'm going to do something potentially stupid. But it'll be worth it. So I'm going to move up here. Okay. And then cast Thunder Wave. Okay, before you do, you take two attacks of oh, opportunity. Yep. Yeah. A, I'm gonna guess that a that a 21. Yep. And a 16. Nope. Okay, so you take from one of them seven bludgeoning damage. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna cast Thunder Wave. Okay. And I'm gonna up the. Level two. Which direction are you doing it in? It it's a fifteen foot cube out from me. Yeah. So I'm in the center. Ah, okay. Yeah. So casting that third level. So they need to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Well, one definitely fails with an at one. Uh, let's see here. Unfortunate damage dice. Then a five. Yeah. And a 12. You were targeting these three that are like close to you, right? It would be those four. Well, if it's a 15-foot cube, it would be, like, with you at the center. Yep. Oh, oh, okay, so it's... So it's 15 feet from you to the edge of the... Yep. Okay, I get you now. Okay. So... Okay, so I gotta do one more, then. Uh, that one again, so that one, none of them make it. So they all take nine damage and get pushed ten feet away from me. Okay. Let me get back on the right layer. One just kind of falls back in the goo. <laughs> and how how much damage was it again? Nine? Yep. Because my damage roll sucked. Oh, come on. You do it, you stupid. Because that was 4d8 for of damage, and I rolled 9. Mm. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was a bit, like, perplexed. I was like, wait, that should have done more, shouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, it's 3, 3, 2, and 1. <laughs> yeah. You got fucked Ouch. by the dice rolls on that one. Yeah. Okay. Is that turn? Yeah, that's my turn. Ringle. Yes. Okay, Fringle is going to hit the one in front of him with his shield. Okay. Uh, one, one second. Wait. See if I can actually hit it first. Does uh, mm -hmm. 11 hit it? 11 does not hit it. 
Okay, then that misses. Then I'm gonna light it on fire. <laughs> uh, it needs to make a 14 dex check. It does not with a four. Okay, it now takes 2d8 radiant damage. Roll it. Seven. You hear the sound of... And I've made this analogy before. The sound a hot dog makes when you microwave it without piercing it. Just that it's high... Sound. That high-pitched whistling scream. <laughs> That's the end of Fringle's turn. All right. Nova. Yeah, so Nova is going to do do a a flaming fist toward the uh toward this boy over there. Uh-huh. I can There you are. Well, uh, 15 hit. 15 matches. So it hits. Yoki doki. That'll be 12. Okay. It takes the damage. Yes! And Nova ends his turn at that one. Okay. Avne. Well, my plans have been foiled. I'm just gonna attack the one in front of me. Just un just shave the crossbow and unsheave the sword in the same motion. Roll it with advantage because it's prone. Hell yeah. And I should have had... Should have had uh, Mega and Salix also roll advantage, but I forgot. But they hit anyway. It's it is 13. No. 13 does not hit. Figured. One more time. This is the one. There you go. Excuse me. That's better. 16 hits. And the 7 slashing. It takes the damage. Whoa. Is that turn? It's, yeah, unfortunately. Okay, it is now the monster's turn. So let me get something here. The big black puddle makes a hissing noise and it oozes and bubbles and boils sounding. And you see another creature appear at the back. A large creature appear at the back of the uh, the formation, so to speak. Two, three, nah. And this one was knocked prone, so it has to get half of its movement, so... So it was this one... And there we go. Okay, so Forest, the one directly in front of you is going to go for a swing at you. Okay. And it gets a natural one. Let me see how Woo! bad it is. Ah, eh, not too severe. It just knocks itself over. Ah, sweet. It's not used to having feet yet. <laughs> Osnar, the one directly in front of you. Goes yep. for a swing. With a 22. That hits. And 8 bludgeoning. Cut down to 4. Okay. Alright. Uh, the one to your right. Gets a 19. That hits. Four bludgeoning. Cut down to two. 
And I forgot, did I move this one already? Anybody remember? Which one? This one that I'm pinging right yeah, now. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, you did. Okay. All right, and... That's the turn of the century? No. Hold on. Ooh, okay. All right. Make a quick note of that. And Uznar, it is now your turn. Awesome. Also good. Uh, also good because uh, came this came on for me. So what I'm gonna do is first the one in front of me. I'm gonna do an unarmed attack against it with reckless attack. Okay. Fourteen. That does not hit. Does not hit. Does not hit. Well, that puts my clients out of perspective. Oh, uh, well. Well, it gets a second punch coming towards its face. That's a 26. 26 does hit. Okay. And with Tavern Brawler, I can use my bonus action after making an arm strike to to make you grab to, to grapple the target. So we're gonna bump so the one in front of me gonna bonus action grapple. Alright. Okay. Roll so your bonus, Yeah, I'll roll my athletic. Fifteen. It beats you out with a seventeen. Ah dang it. They're strong. Oh man! I was gonna. All I was gonna do is force that one one monster's face into the other face of the other monster. Oh well, that's my turn. Make them kiss each other. What? Um. Oh uh, no, no. Basically, just no. Basically, just take the one's head, smash it against the other one like the Three Stooges, and then force the and just keep going with it. I was gonna use one. Gonna use one I grappled as an improvised weapon. Okay. All right. Um, gonna beat a motherfucker with another motherfucker. <laughs> exactly. Okay, I see. All right. Um, then, Jack, it is your turn. All right. Uh, Jack will move up here. First attack this guy uh, with a longbow attack. Regular shot. Okay. A 28. That hits. That. Plus. See, Hunter's Mark, because he's got Hunter's Mark on him. See, 10, 15, 19. That's uh, 19. It is down. It crumbles Perfect. to dust. Uh, I will use my bonus action to switch Hunter's Mark over to this enemy below way around. Okay. Strike that with longbow. That's a natural one. Let me roll severity. All right. Not great. So, what's the damage on just like the arrow itself? Uh, it's just a one d eight, like piercing. Okay. One and was there a plus to that? One d eight plus. Uh, those my decks. Uh, plus five. You take ten piercing damage as your bow accidentally backfires, and somehow the arrow loops around the front of the bow and manages to strike you in the arm. How does that work? Just imagine like one of the goo monsters caught it and just threw it right back at you. Hint, they're monks. <laughs> no, they're not. Yeah. <laughs> but your turn is over. All right. So, Forrest... Is... Oh, I, ha I have to make a concentration save. A constitution save, I should say. It's the same thing. For... Because I took damage, and oh, I'm concentrating. Oh, yeah, damage. Hunter's Mark. Yes, yes, you do. Thank All you right. for being honest. Okay, uh, that's a six, so I lose that. Yep. Bye bye, Hunter's Mark. Wheel. Okay, well now it's Forrest's turn. 
So the one in front of me is prone? Yes. That gives me advantage on melee attacks against him, correct? Yes. I'm I'm going to attempt to claw him. Scratch. Because cause doing some damage right now is better than uh, disengaging and backing away, so I don't get disadvantage on ranged attacks. Uh, let's see. Advantage. Oh, good. 23 to hit. That hits. Four points of damage. Okay, it takes the damage. Yeah. And you yeah, got goo on your claws, much. and it kind of burns a little bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything I've got. Um, she is going to take a five foot step back and, and take whatever attacks of opportunity. Okay. That would be and one. That, and, uh, and she, and she does it while saying, apologies, was not, and takes a step back. Okay. Does a 17 hit? Yes. You take... Five bludgeoning damage. Okay. Okay. Weira. All right. So. First, tell me where you're focusing. Um, the one directly to my left. Okay. Continue. Oh, actually, you're gonna see that because I'm gonna move. Move right here. And stabby, stabby. Stabby, stabby. Twenty-one. That hits. I'm gonna make a joke for, for ten piercing. Yee. And... Oh shit! No, not. Hold on a second. I accidentally did a thing. There we go. Okay. And second attack. 20. Ooh. Soft 20, not Soft natural. 20, yeah. Sadly. For another 10. Well done. And let's... Yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Fringle... All right. And let me get rid of this token in front of you because it's dust. Right. Um... Becomes one with the poo water. <laughs> Fringle is going to move here. And then he is... Going to throw his shield at the one directly in front of him. Okay. Uh, uh, does a 15 hit it? 15 matches, so yes, it does. Cool. Uh, one second. Okay. Takes 10 damage. Okay. And then Fringle is going to try to light the giant one on fire. So it needs to make a 14 dex check. All right. It does not make it, so. Cool. Okay, so it takes two, 2d8 radiant. And also, Fringle would be watching it to see what happens to the black goo surrounding the monster. Mm -hmm. 15. <laughs> it takes 15 damage. Okay. Nice. So for a split second, you do see that the rest of the goo recedes away from the the form that's there, but just as quickly comes right back around it. Mm. It did repel it a bit. Uh, that's the end of my turn. 
Okay. Nova. Nova is silently stressed to himself why his party members are all in fireball range. <laughs> and just instead and just instead throws a produced flame at the at the one closest to him. <laughs> Don't have to worry about me. Don't worry about me. I've got dangers. Yeah, but then there's the bard. <laughs> the bard. Who does not have danger sense. <laughs> so so ping which one that you're that you're going for? Oh, sorry, I had the measurement tool out. Uh, that one. Yep, okay. Don't see, don't, don't see the problem. The bard, bards make the best tank. Okay, that hits. <laughs> that is objectively false. <laughs> it's a it's an unexpectable joke. Uh, yeah. 15 damage as this as another fireball comes blasting out of his fist. Okay. It takes the damage. Ends, then he ends his turn. Okay, Avne. Hi. Hello. So, yeah, really quick, I'm just gonna turn to Jacques and speak as a reaction. Jacques, you were right. Muted, buddy. Jack, you're muted. Sorry. Jack just kind of looks at him and is like, focus at the task at hand. And just nod. Over here. And, and almost thematically just slides into protect Forest after she got thrashed a little bit. Ye. And go on ahead. Okay. Fourteen. Does not hit. Nah, I figured. And, and another one. Fuck. Ah, oh, you, you're not getting... I need a hero. That's what you oh. get when you... At least that's gonna that. retire blind. Okay, so it was only a five in severity, so nothing happens other than you miss and your turn ends. Thank God. <laughs> You're welcome. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So now it is the monster's turn. Two, three, four. One, two. All right, Wayra. You are in between two of these monsters. Yeah, apparently. Fuck. Does Does a 17 hit? That is my AC. Yes. Okay, so you take... 7 bludgeoning damage. Okay. Then the uh, one on the other side of you, which is this one, just for... Mm -hmm. For the sake of posterity, he's also going to go for a swing. And I'm going to say that one probably does not hit with a 14. No. Okay. Uznar. Hey. The one to your right is going to go for a swing at you. And with a 13, I don't assume it does. It has advantage. Oh, yeah. With a 17? That matches. All right, you take nine bludgeoning damage. Cut down to five. Okay. The, five. the one directly in front of you goes for a swing. And I'm going to assume that a soft 20 hits. It does. Uh, that one does... Eight bludgeoning damage. Cut down to four. And the one that's kind of uh, just in front of you, um, to the to your left, is going to go for its own swing. And with a two, it's not going to do it. I mean, technically, it's uh, a five, it's, but it's two on the die. Is is this for me or Afne? That's for you. That one also has advantage. Yeah, and it, it rolled a two on both dice. Woo! 
Okay, excellent. All right, and this one is going to move up here and attack Weira. Okay. And this time it won't be with advantage because it's not technically flanking, technically, that time. Uh, 18. That hit. And it does 10 bludgeoning. Ow. Okay, I'm hurting. Mm. All right. And that is the monster's turn. Uznar. Okay. Okay. Uznar look, looks at the situation at hand. Looks at Avne. Pat's Avne. Pat's Avne on the shoulder and says, You've got this. And then moves to here. I'll happily take that one attack of opportunity. Yep. And I'm going to say that a 12 does not hit. No, it does not. Yep. In here. Yep. Move to here. Uh, then draw, drawing out the great. Drawing out his great sword. Uh, reckless attack. The one that just moved up to Afne here. I mean, uh, Weira here. Mm hmm. I'm gonna swing that with my great sword. Attack. It hits. It hits. Yep, that is for 14, 14 damage all up. It looks like it's kind of starting to lose its form. Okay. It's just then looking really one, drippy. Yep, then one more. Then next attack to the one up to one up the head top mm -hmm. top of me. That's free on both die. Come on. Wow. I call I call shenanigans. Yeah, well. Mm. Well fuck. Well, fuck it. That one that the one right here gets a lightning gets a lightning bolt straight to its forehead. All right. Section. And it rolls a seven. It that fails, and it takes seven damage. It it is shocked into dust. Bzzzt. Yeah. As a free action, I just do a thumbs up to Wayra. <laughs> Give him a sunset deck. Still in danger. Still in danger, but I made it less dangerous. Yep. I'm in danger. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Right. Shaq. Alright. Uh I'm gonna move up over here. I'm gonna cast Hunter's Mark on this batty right here. Yep. And hit him with a longbow. It can't. 19. That hits. That's plus. Let's see. 11. That's 15 piercing damage. Okay. Gonna hit it again with another longbow. 17. Mm hmm. So that hits. Plus. I'm just mark. Oh, I didn't even do the longbow damage. I will. Let's see, that's 14, 16, 20 damage. With this particular arrow shot, arrow shot, arrow shot, you take uh, you take quite a bit of goo away with with the arrow, and it lands back in the puddle. Ah. Huh. But it's still standing. Still standing, just looking drippy. Alright, cool. Well, good thing I still have another attack. Thank you, Haste. Uh, let's see, that is a... Cannot see past... Okay, 26 to yep. hit. Yep. Alright. Go attack, plus... Just mark. 12. That's uh, another 16 points of damage. It turns to dust... 
It is dead. All right. And I'll that just will be... delete it. That will be end of turn. All right. Very good. All right. You're noticing that as you defeat more of these things, the sludge seems to be receding a little bit. In fact, I'm going to get rid of that one. It's not it's not it's not perfectly square like it's showing up on the screen obviously, but yeah, it's it's apparently shrinking. The, apparently the wizard was a neat freak. <laughs> or a Minecraft player. Um Forest. <laughs> the Minecraft gods have invaded D&D. Hmm. D &D. <laughs> hmm. Had to happen sometime. I'm going to use uh two eldritch blasts, one on that one and one on that one. Okay. The warlock and the fang. Uh that's an 11 to hit the first one. Nope. Okay. Uh, 24 to hit the uh, second one. Yep. For 10 points of force damage. This one is also looking drippy. Okay, and... She's going to move over to this side. And yeah. that's the end of my turn. Okay. Wayra. Okay. So, that fucker right next to me. And stabby him. Thirteen. That does not hit. I didn't think it did. Alright, second attack. Seventeen. That hits. Alright. Eight points of damage. Okay. It takes that eight. All of it. That's what she said? <laughs> yes, that is what she said. Oh, my. That's, that's my turn. Intentionally off-color joke. Pringle. Yep. Hmm. Pringle's going to throw a shield at the one in front of him. Yeah. Uh, Eighteen hit. Eighteen hits. Okay. Second, one D8. That's three. Take seven. Looking very drippy. <laughs> and then he's going to light the big one on fire again. Needs to make 14 decks. With a seven, it is not going to do that. Okay. Takes 2d8 radiant. I don't know why that only rolled one. Hmm. Seven. All right. The big one whistles like a hot dog. Okay. I uh, never get tired of that. That's the end of my turn. Ringles' turn is already over. Why did I say his name again? Nova. Like, why does it sound? Why does it sound like sausages in here? <laughs> Takes a few steps forward. And by a few steps, I mean about 20 feet. <laughs> and, you know, just like second verse, same as the first. I guess I'll attack this one. <laughs> okay. So punches a fist of flame. Does not hit. But with an 11, will not do that. So that ends Nova's turn. Don't. 
Afne. And you gonna do my thing. Do your thing. Yay! The hits. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do divine smite on it. Cause fuck it. Yeah. Ain't no thing but a cockatiel wang. Oh. You just hear it. <laughs> Divine Procutiet! And then the hit. The damage. It's 10. Plus, I believe it's 2d8 radiant damage. For level 1. So it's 19 damage total. Or, no, wait. No, sorry. 21 damage. You end this uh, particular goo monster's whole career. Hell yeah. It will never play baseball again. <laughs> yep, adjust the sword and turn to slash the next one. Okay. God damn it. <sighs> lady luck giveth, lady luck taketh away. I know. Only 2% though, so all you do is miss and dance into your turn. That's fine. I did the paladin thing, yay! You did it! So now it's the monster's turn. So let's see here. One, two, three. And it's gonna go for a swing on the bird. Of course it is. And it's not gonna do it with a seven. No, it ain't. The one to your right is going to go for a swing. And with a 17. Nope. All right. Uznar. Yep. The, the one to your left is going to go for a swing. It's gooey and drippy. And 17. That that matches. All right. You take uh, seven bludgeoning. Okay. Cut down to three. And the one directly in front of you, also looking kind of drippy, is going to go for swing with a 21. And that hits. its damage is going to be 6 bludgeoning. Cut down. Yep, yeah, cut down the freight. So, yep, yeah, okay. And now the big one. Big one moves down towards Weyra. No. Big one. This is, this is gonna hurt. Is going to go for one shot with with its sword-like appendage. With a natural one, it does not. Hey. Fortune smiles upon thee. Whoosh. So let's see what the severity of that is. That's that's fairly severe. It swings wide and it ends up prone for the next round. <laughs> Good. Everyone curb stomp. Stubbity stubbity. And that was all of the ones that are still around. Yep. Okay. So, that brings us to Uznar. Okay. Great. Okay. Come here. <clears throat> Come here. Little one, in, one, one directly in front of me with my great sword. With reckless attack. 14. Does not hit. Okay. Gonna go... Well, go for it again. That's better. Yep. Sorry. Ignore the second one. Okay. So first one. That is 17 points of slashing damage. You vaporize this mother effer. Cool. Let me... Come on, let me delete the damn thing. Why'd you censor yourself? I don't know. As my, my turn, as my turn, I move there, and the big one that's prone, I shall light. I shall zap it with lightning. <laughs> okay. Yep. For and... six. For... Yeah, it automatically fails. So yeah. Yeah, for six light for six lightning. Bzzz. And as free action, I'm gonna set a Wayra 
back up now. Okay. And that's my turn. Jack. Uh, Jack, seeing all the bodies in the way, he's going to run up. Uh, Yeah, let's put him here. He's going to put bonus action okay. punish mark on the big guy. So that means you're looking at him, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I want you to roll me real quick a charisma save. Uh, I th think I get advantage on it. If it's his ability. Mm-hmm. Because uh, I have advantage on saving throws against the spells and abilities used by a greater favored enemy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so was it, um, say, charisma? Charisma save, yep. Charisma save. Advantage. Thank God, because I need it. Fifteen? That makes it. Great. Uh, gonna take out the vicious dagger, and I'm just gonna start stabbing him. Stabby stabs. Stab oh, and it's advantage because he's prone. Mm-hmm. Right. First step is a 25. Yep, that hits. Let's see, that is 10 plus. Let's see, 13, 17. 21 piercing damage. It takes all that damage. Second attack. Damage. 22. It takes, uh, yeah, yeah, it hits. To hit. yeah, okay. uh, that plus, let's mark. 17. That's another 21 points of damage. It takes it. And one more stabby stab. I was, I'm just mercilessly, uh, mercilessly like just shanking him. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's gonna hit. And it's and another hunter's mark. Let's see, four, that's 18 points of damage. You stab this thing and it dies. Three it just stabs laid and there you're and out. Took it. Yep. <laughs> Three stabs and you're out. Goodbye. So long. I'll feed us and good night. <laughs> I'm glad we were all on the same wavelength. I'm proud. Okay. I was thinking it, but I didn't want to say it because I, I knew you guys would. <laughs> that is going to be end of turn. Forest. Okay. <clears throat> uh. Two Eldritch Blasts, just one and one. Okay. Uh, first one is a 14 to hit. Does not hit. Okay, second one is a 25 to hit. That one does hit. For seven points of force damage. It takes it. It's that one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a bite. I'm a That's bite. it for me. <laughs> Wayra. Alright. Wayra is going to back up a little bit because she's a little and going to cast healing work. Mm-hmm. And get back eight points. Okay. I I'm still hurting, but that's a little better. And that's my turn. Okay. Bringle. I am here. It's your uh, turn. Yeah. Bringle is just going to try and keep hitting the guy in front of him. Do it. Uh, Does a 13 hit? It does not. Then he's going to light it on fire. Needs to make a 14 dex check. It does not do that. <laughs> it's 2d8 radiant. 11. Vaporized. That's the end of Fringle's turn.
Okay. Av no, it's not Avni's turn, is it? No, Nova's turn first. Oreno <laughs> Tan Throws a hot potato at the one in front of him. E. With a seventeen. It hits. And so this and so this spicy potato does fifteen points of damage. Yes, it does. Yes. Tan entota. All right, Avne. Hi. Hello. Just gonna do my thing. That's not gonna do it. No. Roll today. Sheesh. That one will, That's though. Better. That's better. Sheesh. Which one are you going after? Uh, the one in front of me. Okay. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna do Divine Smite at level 2. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy! <laughs> yeah, y'all know oh, the word for it. I'm gonna do it again. Let's see. So, it, I believe it does an extra 1d8. Yep. Yep. So, 3d8. First, it is 13 slashing. Yep. Plus, oh boy! Oh, oh boy! Damage boy. In total. You end this monster's whole career. It just explodes in divine light. Divine light and then blackened dust, which also disintegrates. That one will never play basketball again. Never. It's whole career ended. And second attack, let's. Wait, no, no you already did, did second mind. attack. Never mind. I'm I'm the dummy. No, that's it for me. All right. So that is now monster turn. Let me see. Ooh. Okay. Hang on. As. You are left with only one monster left and this weird, domey looking puddle. The rest of the goo recedes as the dome of this puddle moves upward. And revealing... Come on. Reveal. Reveal, trap card! <laughs> Oh, well, first I have to delete all this shit. Hold on. I, I summon just... Pot of Greed. In which attack mode. To, which allows me to summon another Pot of Greed. What does that do again? Draw two cards. Oh, okay. And you can just, like, if you have a lot of them, you can just infinitely do that. And, and I did, I set it for the meme. <laughs> oh. It, it's It's okay. But now, thanks to the two pot of greeds on my field, I can now perform a special summon. Oh, that um, oh, I had forgotten about Go, that video. Go, XC summon. <laughs> oh fuck. <clears throat> yes, a much much larger version of the complete champion is now standing where the center of the goo was. And let me change music because now the boss has kind of arrived. And, okay, that's that's enough of that. <laughs> oh, that's not the one I want anyway. This one. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, oh, get on the right layer. There we go. Avne. Hmm. The one in front of you is going to go for a swing. Uh, not going to do it with a nine, though. Nope. And that's the monster's turn. Uznar. Okay. Uznar first moves up to this one here and is going to attack, do one slash with his great sword. Great attack. Attack. 
Thank God I said reference attack. Yes. You're welcome. But yeah. That hits. But, yeah. So that is so that is eleven points of slashing damage. Looking pretty drippy now. Okay, going in for the second one. Does not hit. Well, screw this, man. Bonus action lightning strike. Does not make its dex save, so it takes that. Yep, six points of lightning damage, and that is... Okay. Shaq. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to move two spaces back, put Huntish Mark on the big boss, Okay. and pelt it with arrows. Before you do that, roll me a charisma save. All righty. And you get advantage because it's favorite enemy. 17. That makes it. All right. Um... First shot is going to be with Sharpshooter. Okay. So let's see what this does. Ten. That does not hit. Okay. Second shot is going to be a normal shot. That's the natural one. Let me roll severity. All right. <laughs> you lucked out. It's only a one. So... All that happens is your turn ends, and you missed. Already? Okay. Forest. Hmm. I'm going to viciously mock the, uh, the big creature. You have vicious mockery? I do. Why do I keep forgetting that? Uh, DC 16 wisdom saving throw, and Forest, uh... Just calls out and says, "Your master is weak, and so are you." All right, that 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 hits it. Okay, uh, six psychic damage, and it has disadvantage on its next attack. Okay. Sorry, its next attack before the end of the round. Okay. Sorry, before before the end of its turn. You you know what I'm saying. Sorry, that, and that's turn. Yep. Okay. Weyra. All right. Weyra is still a little ouchy, so she is going to hang back and cast Bane on it, on the big guy. Ah, yes. Nice. I'm going to do the same fucking joke every time. <laughs> yup. You were... I was born in the Oh, dark. it's three That's... creatures, so both of the fuckers. Okay. Must make hey, must make charisma saving throws. DC fifteen. Nice. Ah, uh, they both make it. God damn it. And one of them was with a nat twenty. But well, oh. fuck. It already passed. Right, so I mean, that's 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 my turn, I guess. Pooh, it was a good it was a good effort though. Yeah. Ringle. Okay. Fringle is... Fringle's gonna move here. Okay. And then he's going to try and hit the big guy with his shield. Alright. Ah, uh, 13. 13 hits. Cool. One second. Um, three. Okay. That's four. Okay, it takes four damage. Now he's gonna light it on fire. Fourteen deck save. <clears throat> Excuse me. It does not make it. 2d8 radiant. 11. That's, that's the sound it makes when you 
light it. Right. Uh, that's the end of my turn. Okay, Nova. Uh, Nova is fully happy with throwing another hot potato. Where are you throwing that potato? The one right... The one that's the only one that's in range. <laughs> okay, that, that hits. With 11. All right. It burns away into ash and dissipates. And it smells again. And it smells again. <laughs> Nova ends his turn. Avne. Well, this is going to be bad for me because I know what's coming next. Yes. Yeah. You do. Yeah. Roll charisma yeah. save. Yeah. I was coming. Luckily, I'm proficient with it. Yeah, 17. The dice are on your side. Nothing happens. Thank God. You're also, welcome. Forget, do you get boosted by your own aura? Uh, I... Maybe? Hold on, let me look. I don't think you do. No, it's whenever you or a friendly creature within 10 feet of saving. Yeah, so it is. Oh, okay. I get plus two to that anyway. All right, well, you made it anyway. But we'll remember yeah, that. Yay. It's aura protection. But yep, you know what's coming next. They don't want to do it, but they gotta. We, do, we doing the thing. We doing the thing? The thing that I do best. Do it. Shit. Does not hit. One more try. That's better. That does. Divine Smite level 2. Yee. So it's 9 slashing. And... 16 radiant. Whoa! The eyes are glowing. The sword is glowing. They, they're not looking too happy. That's pretty much all I can do. Oh, you did a lot of damage to it. Dab. So, now it's its turn. <laughs> this is why I'm the tank. Abne, it is definitely going for you with all I, four yeah, strikes. I yeah, I bet. And I need an extra d20. Hold on. Oh, great. Uh, we'll use this yellow one. I haven't used this yellow one yet. At least the first one's at disadvantage. That's true, yeah. Oh, right, of course. Yeah, because of the bonus vicious mockery. Oh, right, 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 right. Thank you for reminding me. So first one is going to be a nine. Nope. Okay, so now the next three. So it misses you with its sword shot, its first sword. And second one is going to be a 17. Nope. So then it uh, ejects a spear in your general direction. And it's not going to do it with a two on the die. Nope. So then it tries another one. So that one is a 22. That's going to hit. All right. And it does. Twenty piercing damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're you're here having a screeching pain. What percentage of your health is that? <laughs> uh, uh, let me do the fraction really quick. <laughs> I don't know if I had to make a guess without without meta knowledge. Probably like yeah. a third. Yeah, it was like either a third or a fourth. It's like, I, I, I don't want to give it without meta knowledge. Okay. But, yeah, of course. <laughs> Uznar. It was, it was a bit. It was a bit. It was a lot. Uznar steps forward, moves up, and it's going to circle around to here. So I have will have flanking next turn. And then going in with the great sword for attack. Wait. 
Do you have that much movement? I have 40 movement. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, barbs get a, a speed boost at level five. That's that's right. Yeah. Um, but yes, that hits. Okay. Yeah. So eleven slash. Yep, eleven slashing. Been going for a second attack. Didn't declare reckless on the first attack, so that second attack doesn't wreck. So that's only fourteen. Hmm. Does not. Oh, wait, no, it does hit. That one does hit. Oh, what? Flanking. Woo! Yeah. Um, but not only that, but it only has an armor class of 12. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, 11 for both hits. Ben going for lightning strike. All right. Which does it need? It does not make it save. So. Which is the nature of 6 on top of 22. So that is. 20, 28 points of damage. It is not looking good. It Its armor is like sweating goo. It is so weird to look at. Okay, that's my turn. Shaq, finish this thing off. <laughs> yeah, Shaq, finish this thing off. Uh, I'm going to risk it with using Sharpshooter. Take right. it at minus five. You're looking at it, right? Yeah. Oh, I already rolled the attack. Sorry. Okay, well, we'll we'll save that for a moment. Uh, roll charisma. Save. Okay. With advantage. Yeah. 18. Good thing you had that advantage. Yeah. Okay, and so that would have been 16 11. does hit. No, 11, because that's sharpshooter. Oh, sh so does not yeah, hit then. Misses. Okay. So next two will be regular shots. I was tempted to... That hits. That hits. That was... And I'll stop you right there. How do you want to do okay. this? Um, if it's wearing a helmet, he's just going to aim very carefully and shoot it like through the visor into its eye. With a piercing howl and lots and lots of writhing. This thing collapses into a shadow of itself and disintegrates into dust. Combat is over. You Go are victorious. Woo, Usnak collapses down on the ground. Hold on, D, where would you say the 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 strike hit me? Uh I'm gonna say the left shoulder. Okay. So, yeah, they're just panting, like, ow, that fucking hurt. And just gonna touch their own shoulder and I'm using lay on hands for. So now it's. I'm back to full. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I, did, I didn't mute myself in time. I was going for the button. <laughs> and hit it in time. Meanwhile, Usna's on the ground, slightly beaten up. <laughs> I have been able to help him up. One second. There you go. Uh, oh, that went bit of it last time. No, we'll Sorry. run over. That was very nice of you. Yes, very well done. Uh, oh, who I'm sorry, Nova. Which one are you talking to? Talking? Who are you talking to at the moment? Well, you both were nice, but you're always very brave, just punching everything Indeed. with your bad fist. Yeah. Well, I, well, I have to give I have to give the opponent some chance. I have to give the enemy at least half a chance of winning. Please don't do that again. No, no, we really don't. <laughs> Wait, sorry, that, that sorry, that was me making a DBZA joke. Oh, okay. It didn't happen. Strike it from the camera. Yeah, I thought Ren just had appeared out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? No promises, Piccolo. Thank you for getting it. Yeah. Uh, so I believe that's believe this, is, believe this is the last city we need to do, do this for. This is the last city we need to do. 
I believe well, so. That was the, the, the others on the list were Sol and... Fent. And um, Fent. So... Yes, I do believe Blount's uh, soldiers are taking care of those. Definitely Sol we could uh, not reach in time, I think, but... Perhaps we should go and uh, check on Scent, since Blount was hesitant on whether or not he could get his people to work. I mean, someone could contact Blount and ask. Mm. <laughs> Forrest just like looks at Nova. <laughs> I don't know how to contact someone. Give me an hour, and I can do it. <clears throat> There's one more that can do I it. I believe Fringo can also do it. Fringle? Yes. Can you send a message to Blount and ask him if his people in Scent were able to, uh, are able to act? Right. Uh, one second. And... Fringle do that. Blount of tin is clear. Okay. Um you you wanna like word the message specifically or are you just in general asking if it's clear? In general, in saying they cleared out uh the other two. Okay. Blount, after a minute or so, responds back. Bent is safe. Come to Knack. Best to deliver news in person. Blount said Bent is safe and that we need to go to Knack to get news. Oh, well, that's good to very, hear. Very good, indeed. indeed. Also, Nak is very close, so that's very convenient for us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, let's get... Hopefully this well, is the last sewer we have to go into yeah. for a while. Indeed. Yeah, I mean, come on, we're all... Come on, we're all level... Come on, we're all level eight. Level eight. Level eight. The sewers is the... So is no, you're the not. What? Yeah, no, we're not. What like, are you talking six. about? Also, what's a level? Indeed. What are you talking about, us now? Hold on. Hold on one. Hold on a sec. My me. Hold on a sec. The meta part of my brain kicked in for a second. Then, don't worry about it. Also, Stop you're not level eight. Joke. You're level Damn seven. It. And all of us are levels. I still don't know what the level is, but Every... for some reason, the number six seems to be coming into my mind. And everybody else is level six. Yes. Ah dang! Ah dang it! I figured I thought we could damn it, for but I could trick you into giving us level up. I should smite <laughs> you where you stand. <laughs> it's a good thing nice that we're not outside, because otherwise uh, a thunderous lightning might happen. <laughs> and uh, and doesn't and don't have to worry about that. I don't have to worry. Don't have to worry about that. I have resistance to lightning damage. A brick falls on your head, Osnar. <laughs> Where did come from? I do not think you have resistance to god lightning. Anywho, that would be radiant damage. Indeed. Oh please, if oh please, if I am true, if I am truly annoying, annoying someone, may God strike me down where I stand. You hear a roar behind you. <laughs> ah, no. Right. No, no. Game. If, if God is not happy with okay. me, then may God strike me where I stand. For it just fucking punches Usnar in the face. <laughs> All right, so so you guys head to Knack. Yep, and yeah, uh, Knack. This, this whole time Jack is walking with an arrow in his arm, completely where it's there, but is not doing anything about it to remove it. Shock, are you sure you don't need help? I'm sure. So you make your way through the streets of Knack and make your way to the... Oh, hold on. 
Twice Sold Tales. Twice Sold Tales, yep. Let me prep the map really quick. The Tales that were sold two times. Because it's still, like, breakfast scene from, like, three sessions ago. <laughs> or longer. I don't know. Yeah, it's been longer. The, the, oh, whole, the whole of nice February that, is that, weird. It's nice to know that they had breakfast waiting for us. I mean, we already ate breakfast, but second breakfast. Don't get to know wow. about second breakfast, Solcito. <laughs> uh, Nova, you should be careful. Only halflings can enjoy second breakfast. For the rest of us, it just makes us fat. And and Fringle, Fringle can enjoy it too. He can, he can have little a salami as a as a treat. <laughs> <laughs> when you arrive <clears throat> at Twice Sold Tales and you find your way inside, um, oh my God, do I not have a I don't have a token for, uh, shit. Blount? No, I do have one for Blount. Um, Mac? I have one for Mac. Um, shit, why am I blanking on his name? He's the good boy. Rathbone. 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 I do not have oh, one yeah, for he's Rathbone. Just, he's, just, he's just never been... Oh, you know what? I think the one time he was in a scene with tokens... I think you just, I think you even literally said you were going to make one, but I guess you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Okay. So as you make your way into Twice Soul Tales, uh, you find Mac, Blount, and Rathbone uh, discussing something hushed amongst themselves. And let me just zoom out for the people at home. Okay, there we go. So they're talking. Hello, oh, hello, everyone. Dad. Hello, everyone. So, Ustai walks over to a ta walks over to this table here, kicks kicks the chair out and puts his feet up on the table. Um, while standing in the air. <laughs> the, th <laughs> the three of them. <laughs> Are are looking rather grimly at each other. Rathbone has ah. has a what looks to be like a a cloth or like a towel or something in his in his hands. Oh, for fuck's sake! What happened? Um, both Mac and Blount look to Rathbone. Rathbone, kind of uh, uncharacteristically somber and timidly, walks towards the rest of the group. Is so? What's just wrong, Rathbone? Uh, uh, well, and he he goes up to Nova, and he opens the opens the rag that he's got folded in his hands. No. And it is a blue feather with black stripes and a white tip. No. I'm sorry. <gasps> and that is where we'll end tonight's session. God damn it, D. Is anyone else Wait, hear Linkin Park music playing in the background? <laughs> <laughs> what about your boss music? <laughs> so, yeah, Nova, I give you permission. I bought the entire fucking room in rage. <laughs> well, shit! Ah! <laughs> uh, isn't he? Why? You're. S you, I owed you. You and me had a fight scheduled. We're Damn gonna it. we're gonna raid Monty's channel. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's go raid, yeah, go let's go raid Monty. Say hi to Monty. We need, we need some fucking wholesomeness now. Thank you for buddy for being here.